Welcome to Solo Shop First and today we're going to be having a look at the Star Wars from the Black series number 15 Miru Miru. I believe that's how you pronounce the name. If it's not, I apologize. Um you know, I actually picked this up quite recently because um these were on sale um at Star Action Figures. Um and I just wanted to sort of get a little bit more of a, a Wookiee army. Um so I believe the character uh, Miru Miru is actually from Revenge of the Sith. Um, I know, obviously, there is that. Uh, it's it's when obviously um, they're fighting on Kashyyyk, and obviously Miru Miru is from Kashyyyk. So I suppose what I just wanted to really do was was pick this figure up. I'm, I'm, it'd be interesting to have a look at the articulation on this figure. Um, not too much to report on uh, the card backs of these. Um, I suppose the only thing you can really say is in some ways, you know, it is quite a nice card back. It's a little bit of a shame that this sort of character was never put into the vintage collection because it does appear to have some, well, looking at it through the packaging, looks like it's got some relatively decent articulation and, and possibly this should have been one that maybe was on a VC card. Um, in terms of the back of the card, really is not a lot to report there. Um, you've just obviously got that sort of, orange stripe down the side which is obviously part of uh, this sort of orange wave of figures um, that they did in this line so um, all we now need to do I suppose really is get this figure out of the packaging and, and we'll have a look at it okay so here we have the uh, figure out of the packaging and um, I've got to say it's actually quite a nice looking figure um, I mean, as I said, oh, the reason obviously I bought this was just to sort of try and do a little bit of an army build with uh, with Wookiees. Um, but, you know, there's not too much to report in terms of, uh, you know, at the end of the day, a Wookiee is a Wookiee. But it's got uh, some quite nice detailing there in terms of uh, the sort of armour on the shoulder plates. Um, I hope you can see that. I'm not quite sure this video is going to showcase that properly. And he appears to have, um, well, what I think is probably some sort of shield uh, just there on the arm, obviously, uh, on the forearm. And um, obviously the nice um, chest plate, bandolier, I suppose, whatever you want to call that, really. It's not really strictly a bandolier because there's not really sort of any... Uh, well, I say that, looking at it from the back, it does appear as though it looks a little bit more like those those pieces would be ammo pouches certainly from the back um so yeah i mean uh, look uh, this was as i said picked up relatively cheaply and um it is literally for me from my point of view just a design to be for army build so let's have a quick look at the articulation okay so i mean in terms of the articulation with this figure you've got a little the limited um movement obviously at the head just quite simply because uh if you can see that you've obviously got these tassels of his hair that come down both from the front and the back but he does have articulation at the shoulders um, articulation at the elbows and um, swivel wrists um, he doesn't actually have a swivel at the waist at all but that's probably to be expected for this sort of figure um, and obviously there's no uh, sort of barbell or anything in terms of sort of movement just below the waist um but that's fine you know at the end of the day you know you see most of these sort of characters or these sort of figures from certainly from the walkie warriors from kashik uh, are, are sort of generally upright and, and obviously ready to fight so um but he does have articulation bends at the knees and uh the swivel at the ankles so all in all you know some quite nice articulation certainly uh could have been put into the vintage collection. In some ways, it's probably a little bit of a shame. It's not. Maybe they just thought that, you know, the the, the character probably didn't maybe ne necessarily uh, necessitate. Sorry, <laughs> necessitate. What am I talking about? I don't know what I'm saying there. You know, it probably didn't feel it needed to be as part of the vintage collection. But it's a little bit of a shame because it is a nice looking figure, both uh, from the the front and uh, certainly from the back. There, you know, again the the detailing on it is is quite nice. Um, the tassels, obviously, of his hair, sort of falling down the back here. You've got these sort of ringlets that are put in to sort of hold that and tighten that together. That's a nice little touch. So, 
Um, you know, the, the colouring on this figure is pretty good. Exactly what you would expect really from a Wookiee. Um, in terms of the um, accessories that you get with this, uh, it actually comes with a... I suppose that's just like a pike or a stick. Not too much detailing on that, but again, not particularly necessary. Um, it comes with this, oddly enough, and I'm not quite sure what that is meant to be, whether it's some... I mean, obviously, there's that gap in the top, so whether... Ah, there you go. <laughs> Should have done a bit of research beforehand. There you go. So, yeah, that's just the handle and the grip for the weapon. That's actually quite a nice touch because there's some quite nice detailing on that. Um, I hope the camera's going to pick that up. That's quite nice. And then uh, comes with this uh, blaster, which is probably a little bit unique. I don't think we've seen many of this sort of style of blaster um, at all. Just a sort of a nicer, a bronzy sort of colour with the uh, the brown handle. And uh, the other accessory, obviously, is just his helmet. But again, some nice, de really nice detailing on that. Like, almost like that scaled effect. So, you know, you can pop that on and have him wearing the helmet. Or not, depending on your choice. But overall, actually quite a nice looking figure. Um, and pretty much, well, this was, as I said, very much a bargain. So I'm really pleased with that. Not too much more to say on it. Uh, good looking figure. That will certainly go in for my uh, Wookiee Army building. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you do, please hit the like button. Um, if you want to subscribe, there'll be more videos coming shortly. If you've got any questions or you want to comment on it, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll come back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. Bye.